Yo. Yo. What's going on? We're finishing doom scrolling. Did you see the story about this uh, podcaster and her husband in Seattle who got murdered by a stalker? No. Uh, so this is really scary stuff. It's, uh, you know, when you're in radio, I guess you talk about the couple movies that they've made about radio stalkers. Play Misty for me, right? Sure. With uh, Clint Eastwood. And Fisher uh, King. Fisher King and... Um, uh, talk radio, right? Doesn't he get shot in the head in mm -hmm. talk, talk radio, I think? Yeah. Uh, so this woman and her husband, they hosted this um, podcast, and the the suspect, um, they had met. And do you remember that app Clubhouse? Yeah. Where it was like you got invited, and then you could watch you know, yeah. Elon Musk be on a podcast, sure. and, and they do it live or whatever. So they said that the woman, the, the host had met this suspect on there a long time ago. And then it sounds to me like from the articles that I've read, they had some sort of, you know, um, relationship, if you want to call it that. They they talked. It sounds like he messaged her and, and was a fan of the show and talked about the show, but then started to get a little more aggressive and then started to, like, call the house, you know, got, got the phone number and started calling the house. At one point, they say he called in the middle of the night. Her husband answered the phone, and the stalker says, put your wife on the phone. Like that, I mean, just really, Ugh. really brazen, scary stuff. And this woman, she had recently had a surgery, according to these court documents, because they'd filed for a restraining order, uh, order protection from this guy, because they thought that he might be dangerous. And she knew that she was going to be uh, basically bedridden while she recovered from the spinal surgery. Okay. And she felt very, very vulnerable with, you know, the idea that this guy could be stalking them and, and mm -hmm. coming to the house. Well, he... He got to the house. He broke in through the mother's window. Now, apparently, the, their mother lived at the house, too. Um, she was able to escape. But this guy broke into the window, uh, went in, allegedly killed the podcaster, her husband, and wow. then when police arrived, he killed himself. Tonight, newly released documents shedding more light on the slaying of a 33-year-old podcast host and her husband, murdered in their Seattle area home, police say by her alleged stalker. Redmond police say Zora Sadegi and her husband, Mohammed Milad Nasseri, were shot and killed Friday by Raman Hoda Karamazai before taking his own life. Police say the man initially reached out to Sadegi on a chat platform as a listener and fan of her audio stream. But his actions soon intensified. She said he delivered flowers to her home, sent jewelry and gifts, parked in her neighborhood to catch a glimpse of her, and repeatedly called her husband, friends, and neighbors. Now, supposedly, police were in the process of trying to find this guy. He's a long-haul truck driver, believed to have been from Texas. They wanted to arrest him and serve this petition for protection order. Um, but it was difficult to pinpoint his location because... His job had him you right, know, right. driving. He was on the open road all the time. And a restraining order, they say here, a restraining order is simply a piece of paper that allows officers to take enforcement action should a suspect violate the court order. But a piece of paper does not protect a person when someone is intent on causing them harm. Sure. And I watched that stalker thing on Netflix, and that's mainly what they talked about, mm -hmm. was getting those restraining orders really doesn't do any good because most stalkers don't care about the restraining order. And if they want to make right. your life a living hell, they will. Right. And I mean, this woman was scared. She knew this guy calling in the middle of the night. I don't know how you change the laws to say, look, instead of just a, a restraining order, if you do this much, we can put you in front of a jury of your peers and they can decide whether or not we think you are a threat to this person. Even if you haven't broken in, because in these documentaries, you're like, well, you know, he's just calling. He's just threatening. Mm -hmm. He hasn't mm -hmm. done anything yet. It's like, well, he's calling all the time, 24 right, hours right. saying he's going to kill me. Yeah, but he hasn't tried to kill you yet. He hasn't broken yeah, into the house. Point? Get the restraining order. Yeah, it seems like they, there needs to be a lower bar there to get these people, you know, in front of a jury and maybe put away for a while. Uh, we have a real candidate for president. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Who do we got? The Tiger King, Joe Exotic, yes. has thrown his hat in the ring for the election of 2024. Well, all right. Uh, hitting the trail is going to be an issue. Mm. He's serving a 21-year prison <laughs> sentence for multiple charges, including animal abuse. Animal abuse. Well, that doesn't, I don't think that brings down a candidate. No. Right? I don't think. I mean, there of was all a all the time, things people have done. Right, animal abuse. I mean, Teddy Roosevelt had sure. animal heads on his walls, right? That was like Donald his Trump thing. Jr. is out shooting Yeah, elements. shooting giraffes and stuff and whatever, sitting next to rhinos. I don't remember. That sounds right, but... It, Shot something for sure. Uh, being in prison seems like it would make it difficult. They said that they that he didn't say if he was running as Republican or Democrat, but as I recall in the series, he ran as a Libertarian every time, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I think so. I think he said he was a Libertarian, and then I don't know. But Joe Exotic is uh, officially running It'll for president that. in 2024. He'll be a good president. Uh, have you guys seen the video of the 
Margarita Man at the airport getting tased. No. Have you seen it, Snow Cone, on Reddit? That sounds like fun. Man, it's just, you know, this guy, he's at the airport. He's waiting for his flight. He has a couple margaritas. Who knows, you know, if someone complains? Does an officer think, like, that guy's had too many margaritas? Does an employee of one of the airlines say, hey, we think he had too many margaritas? I've seen it happen. I've witnessed it happen. I told you it happened to me, almost happened to me one time. I was... Uh, on my way back to Kansas City, I was flying from Portland, and I went into this airport bar, sat down with this guy. We got there at the same time. We both had three beers. Mm-hmm. Then they start boarding the flight. We nope. get up to go get on the flight. The, he's in front of me to board, mm-hmm. and they're like, hey, you were drinking. The bartender said you had like three drinks in there. And he's like, what? Are you serious? He didn't say anything to me. He's like, I'm fine. They're like, yeah, we can't let you board. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, they're, gonna say same to you. they're gonna say the same thing to me. Well, and you're an alcoholic, Christmas. so you don't show it. Didn't show it, I guess, because. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, they just Build let me. Their they just let me go right through there. So uh, don't let anybody tell you alcoholism doesn't have its benefits. I'll, I'll tell you, man. Got you on a plane. I didn't notice that he was acting all that bad, but uh, I thought you were drunk too. I mean, is there like a limit? Do the, do airports say this is the limit, or is it just uh, uh, know it when you see it sort of thing? But this guy's like, look, man, I paid a lot of money for these airplane tickets, yeah, and I had a couple margaritas. I'm not going to miss my flight for a couple margaritas. Yes, this is ridiculous. You are. And then he got zapped. About three margaritas. About three margaritas. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Yeah. Listen, I'm on a flight and I paid $2,000 to be on. There's no reason to arrest me. Turn around now. Why? Oh. Ah. Now. Man, oh, man. I wonder what, like, where he was flying for two grand. I mean, airplane tickets, I haven't bought yeah. them in a while. I guess they're. Pretty expensive, but you know he was being a bit of a. They never did come up with a name for a male Karen, right? They 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 toyed around with some different yeah, things. Yeah, they toyed with some. Seems like they just ended up doing male Karen. Doesn't happen as much. But that that voice that I paid two thousand dollars and had a couple margaritas. Like, look, man, you're not gonna stop me. And the cops like, but I am. Seems like a calmer <laughs> response might have helped you in that. Maybe not. Maybe well, you still not. Maybe you still would have missed your flight. <laughs> I don't know, but at least you wouldn't have gotten zapped by that taser. I've never been zapped by a taser. I've been sprayed with the pepper. I pepper zapped you with one once. Yeah, but that was like one of the ones you buy at the uh, you know trade shows. Made you fall down. I don't know. Uh, well, I was uh, the anticipation was killing me. It did leave a little burn mark on my arm, mm-hmm. but I feel like the ones the cops use don't the prongs go in and then aren't they holding a button that's continually discharging? Isn't that what they're doing? They're holding that button. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think it's probably quite a bit stronger than that thing that we got at the gun show or <laughs> whatever it was. Right. Uh, but it doesn't look like fun. Yeah, I've, I've been pepper sprayed. That's not fun. You've been pepper sprayed, right? Yeah. Like as part of a times. group when they come out and they just pepper spray the whole group and they just and you're you can't breathe. Gone to a fight at Eastern Michigan University. Uh, and the you cops did... came, started pepper spraying people. And instead of it being a spray, it was one solid stream. Yes. Ugh. And it came out and it hit me, honest to God, directly in the eye. Ugh. Ugh. It was the worst. And and it's like, a, it was just like a like a squirt gun it went Woo, and I was like ah and I where's that I was headed? drunk and I tried to move <laughs> like that way and I so it's coming this way and I tried to move like this and I just moved far enough to hit me right and in the, the eye. wind got it right there no I mean I was so no, it faced I, this I, way and I went yep I should have went that way yeah. but you moved right into its path is what right I'm saying right into it and it hit me right directly in the eyeball uh, for me the thing is like how hard it is to breathe in the movies. It's about, you know, you spray them in the eyes, and it hurts their eyes. And the, the mugger's like, ow, my eyes. But when you get sprayed with it, you're choking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can't take a breath. I mean, I don't know. what. Maybe the more effective thing even would be if the, your attackers come out, you spray it in their mouth. I think it could kill you. I, I mean, I don't know. Mm-hmm. If you've ever been sprayed with it, like, and been in the vicinity of it, and had that thing where it takes a, a good half an hour before you can finally catch a breath, yeah. I can't imagine if it got sprayed directly into your mouth. And also, it definitely burns your eyes. That's that's for right. sure. I don't watch Family Feud. Do you? I mean, I've seen it. I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. Um, I'm I guessing think Steve it's, Harvey does it now, maybe? Yeah, that's know? what I was thinking. I assume he still does it. I assume it's I think everybody who here. did it before that died and killed themselves or something? At least a couple of them, right? Really? Well, I mean, it was like some sort of there was the Family guy, Feud. The guy who hanged himself. Oh, the, creepy the, curse, guy who the curse of Family Feud. Mouth. Kiss people Richard, on the mouth. Richard. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Richard Dawson. Yes. Dawson. But is he the one who hanged himself? I think so, they all did. So, someone hanged themselves, right? I have no idea. And then you had... Well, I don't want to say anything about the other person because I don't know that any of those allegations were ever... Family Feud. The Curse of the Family Feud hosts. There's got to be I'm a web page dedicated. Well, while you're looking into that, a guy who was on Family Feud and even made a joke 
at his wife's expense, uh, has now been accused of killing his wife. Um, this was the joke that he made on Family Feud. When Bleepnik competed on Family Feud, listen to his haunting response to host Steve Harvey's question about wedding day mistakes. What's the biggest mistake you made at your wedding? Honey, I love you, but said I do. <laughs> the audience gasped, and Bleepnik attempted to clarify. Not my mistake. I love my wife. I'm going to well, get in trouble for that, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> what was the biggest mistake you made at your wedding? And his answer was saying I do. Yeah, that's a good one. You seem like that would get you in a fight afterwards, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's what led to it because that episode was, I think, originally taped or aired in like 2019. But uh, it says here he was charged Monday with two counts of first-degree murder and home invasion and the death of his 41-year-old estranged wife, Rebecca. So, I mean, they could have been estranged since the show. Mm. I, I could see a real fight breaking out over that. Uh, she was found dead in her home on February 23rd after she didn't pick up her kids from school. The couple was going through a divorce at the time of the slaying. Says uh, one of their friends says that they've been separated for about two years, but that they were still mm. married. Mm. And in the picture I saw of him, the mugshot, he looked a lot different than he did on Family Feud. Family Feud, he was clean cut. In the mugshot, he'd like grown his hair out all along and kind of looked like a biker. Did you figure out the curse of the Family Feud host? Family Feud. Well, someone on Twitch host. said Ray Combs. He yes. killed okay. himself. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of, I think. Curse, Family Feud. I've not heard of the host. curse, though. There's been like multiple people that had bad things happen. Yeah. Okay, Ray Combs. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Um,. He was the host in 1988 when the show was brought back after a hiatus. He died on June 2nd, 96, after hanging himself in a closet. Then you had Louis Anderson. Mm. Yeah, I remember Louis Anderson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, he hosted from, or he hosted Family Feud through 2002. Mm. He died yeah. recently, right? Did he? Richard die or Dawson not? just said he died of esophageal cancer. Okay. Um, maybe there is no. And then, you know. and then you had. Um, um, the guy from Home Improvement, Richard Carn. Uh, oh, yeah. What's his name? On Home Improvement. Yeah, I don't think so, uh, Tim. Tim uh, Al? Al, yeah, there you go. Thank you, Al. I forgot that he hosted it. And then you had the guy from uh, Seinfeld. I don't think anything bad. I don't think he did anything bad. Anything bad happened to him. Seinfeld? Yeah, Lane's boss from Seinfeld. He hosted it for a while. Mr. Oh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, Jay Peterman. I don't know what his real name is. Yeah. That was his oh, name. that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, it looks like all of them. So maybe it was just, well, wait. The first one was Richard Dawson, and what happened to Richard Dawson? He died of esophageal cancer. Oh, I see, cancer. esophageal cancer. Okay, so it was just Ray Combs? I thought there was, man, I, I would I thought have, there was something to it. I would but. have sworn that there was something more than just the Ray Combs thing. Maybe someone on Twitch will know. And the million-dollar question Snow Cone asked is, did, did Louis Anderson die? I feel like I, he, he not was like that. accused of like getting bored. There were some accusations. That's why I didn't want to say anything because right. I don't know that it was ever substantiated. I feel like I can see like the picture if I'm like in memoriam was an American. Yeah, he, died he did die. Okay. January 21st, 2022. Okay. Well, there you go. I mean, I was thinking yes, but I also thought Tom Sizemore died 10 years ago. So uh, my memory's not great. Uh, and honestly, you know what? I would have leaned towards Louis Anderson still alive. I don't remember it well enough. I would I kind of thought I was just making it up in my head. But what year did you say he died? 2022? Yeah. January. Okay, so it's January. been just over a yeah. year ago. Yeah. All right. So there's your uh, Family I can't Feud find trivia. Anything. About, um, About a curse of the Family Feud. I, no. felt like, I felt like there was. I but. guess it's just Dawson. 